Hello, my name is Rob Watts, and I'm one of the founders of Magic Edit. Today we are going to go through the basic steps for getting your website working with Magic Edit. This how-to is for users who have at least a basic understanding of HTML. The point of Magic Edit is for you to give your client the ability to update the site without knowing any HTML at all. So once you have your Magic Edit account set up, you can just use your FTP account to push your website files up to the server. Lots of designers use Dreamweaver, so I'm just going to use it to show you how easy it is to add dynamic content editing to a simple site. So I've already got a basic site up and running on the server, and I can verify that everything works fine. Nothing special so far. Now, suppose the client wants to be able to update the homepage text on a regular basis. Since I'm the designer, I can decide what text can be updated by just wrapping the appropriate sections with magic edit tags. I find the region in the HTML, then just wrap it in magic edit tags like so. Then I save the file and push it up to the server. Now I open the site in my web browser. Nothing has changed yet, but I need to log in to see the interesting stuff. To log in, I just type slash admin after my site domain name in the address bar. You can show your client how to do this so they can edit the site themselves in the future. Putting slash admin in the URL tells Magic Edit to give me my login form as you see here. After logging in, I can now see the little edit button at the end of the region I tagged for editing. Clicking on the button opens up the editor, and I can use it to update the content just like this. I'm going to just paste some text in here. After submitting it, I can see that the content on the page reflects my changes. One of the most important things to understand is that Magic Edit does not actually change the page on the server in any way. What it does is dynamically replace the text when a browser requests the page. If you were to use FTP to pull the file back from the server, it would look identical to the way it did when you first uploaded it. Now that I'm done editing the page, I can log out and view the site the way the public will see it. So, that is the basics of how Magic Edit works to add browser-based editing to a website. Thanks for watching.